Hey, what's up guys, Alex here. Thank you for checking this video and welcome to the episode number 20 of the series of tutorial on how to build a WordPress plugin from scratch. In this tutorial, we're gonna take a look on how to customize our administration area to make these really boring checkboxes looking super lit and super legit with a cool animation, like an iOS toggle to start customizing the look and feel of our custom admin area. So if we access our source code on the manager callbacks.php and we scroll down in the checkbox field, in the previous lesson we just generated this modular code, this modular method, in order to have the same callback for all the type of checkboxes. And that's perfect, so we can manage everything through one single callback. The thing is that we are also passing a custom variable for the classes. In our case, we define this custom variable if we access the inspector here. The custom variable is the UI toggle for my class. So I wanna style this UI toggle to make it look like the iOS checkbox or um, more um, like engaging toggle instead of like the simple, regular, boring checkbox. So in order to do that, I have to change a little bit the HTML of this section, but it's not gonna be too complicated. So first let's wrap this stuff around a div. So let's open and close the div immediately just to not forget to close our markup. This div, I want to give it the same class of my checkbox here. So let's cut it out and let's paste it here. And then in my checkbox, um, I can leave it also without classes if I want, but the thing that I have to do, I wanna duplicate the name and having the name as the ID of the checkbox because I'm gonna use it for a label. So we have the name here, but also the ID has to be identical to the name. The last thing that I have to do, I have to create a label inside this div that points to this ID. So let's generate a label. And let's of course close the tag of the label, perfect. And this label will be pointing for the same name that we're using here as an ID. That's why we need a DID, awesome. Let's generate an empty div that we're gonna style then in CSS inside the label. Great, now if we access our front end or back end and we refresh, nothing changes, but if we check our checkboxes, all the checkboxes will have this custom weird HTML structure, so the UI toggle class that we're dynamically passing, then the input, then the label, and an empty div inside the label. That's perfect. Let's start styling something with SESS. Let's access our source folder, SESS, and here, if you downloaded the uh, code from the previous lesson, I divided stuff in modules. So here I have the, all the classes written in SESS for the tabs that I have in my administration area to change the tabs of my page. Now I can create another module or another file, if you wanna call it, called checkbox.scss or you can call it whatever you want. And here we can just duplicate the import and actually import the checkbox file. That's perfect. Now let's write some magic inside our checkbox file. First, let's define a bunch of variables and the variables in SCSS are defined the same way that are defined in PHP basically with a dollar sign. If you don't know anything about SCSS, I suggest you to check the Alicad crash course about SCSS on my channel. It's like really short, really simple and you can grasp the basic ideas to properly follow this tutorial. So let's continue. Let's generate a color that I already know what it is because I really like is is like pound or hashtag whatever 427 cdc this is a really nice bluish color reminiscent of ios or stuff like that but let's generate then a background color called bg that is going to be like a light gray so it's going to be pound d9 cb9 e then we can generate the off color so when the checkbox is off and that is going to be like sort of like gray, dark gray with a little bit of bluish stuff like that. It looks really nice. So 374140 is just number. And we forgot the pound. Okay, now we have our three variables. Let's generate a bunch of mixing that are gonna take care of managing some repetitive tasks or like we can include the mixing inside the SCSS. So the first mixing that we wanna create is called center to properly center align this thing. So let's define a position 
absolute and then let's define the top to be at 50%. We want everything to be perfectly center aligned and the left to be at 50%. And then the trick is to, other than the semicolon, to create a CSS transform and translate everything to minus 50% and minus 50% for uh, top and left. So we are basically pushing this thing, whatever we're gonna use this mixing center, 50% to the right and 50% to the bottom, and then we're translating back 50% and 50%. So it's gonna be center aligned. Uh, we'll take a look at this later, but let's generate another mixing called user select and this is going to take care of um, giving the ability the user to select here also with touching stuff so in this mixing we're going to pass a value that is going to be just simply the value that we will pass later here i have a pre-built code that will take care of activating all these things also for other mobile interfaces so it's taking care of activating or making this checkbox usable also in webkit touch and mozilla and microsoft all this kind of stuff so for all the browsers that's that's going to be pretty useful for the things that we want to do and then we can generate the ui toggle mixing that we're going to customize and we're going to give ourselves the ability to reuse it multiple times or with different colors. So let's take a look on how to do it. Let's generate the mixing. UI dash toggle is the name of our mixing. And in the mixing, we're gonna pass the height of our toggle, how do we want to define it, then the color on and the color off variables that we defined before. The height is not defined, but we're going to pass it through our class. So basically, what we can do at the end of all of this, when whenever we have a class called UI toggle and we know we're using the class to wrap everything our, around our input field and our labels, we can say that this class should use and include then mixing UI dash toggle and we have to pass a bunch of variables so we can pass the uh, height of our toggle so let's say 40 pixels let's say if it's it's correct it's good then the second is the variable on and the third is the variable off so the colors that we specified here and then we can say that we want this to be text align dash center. Perfect. Okay. Now we have the mixing UI toggle and we're calling this mixing uh, inside the UI toggle class, but here we didn't define actually anything. So let's start building our mixing. It's going to be super cool and super easy actually. So first let's reset a little bit of spacing with margin zero and padding zero. Then we can say that the input inside this mixing that it's equal only to the type of checkbox has to be styled in this way. First, we want to hide it. So display has to be none. Let's completely get rid of that ugly checkbox that we cannot customize. But if this checkbox has a checked value and whatever label field is directly connected to hit should have these option, the border color should be like the color on that we're passing and then the background should be like as well the color on that we're passing and then we want to give it a box shadow that is going to be super cool in set zero 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 and then we can do a small um, operation to divide the actual uh, spread of the box shadow based on the height value that we're passing in uh, our mixing. And let's divide it by two because the height, if we're passing 40 pixel, we don't need a height or actually a spread of 40 pixel, but we need a spread of the half 20 pixel to fill up the entire background. And then the last parameter is actually the color of our box shadow. That's perfect. Let's continue by going completely outside the input checkbox, but inside the UI toggle, we can say that if we have a label, the label should be styled in the following way. First, we want to animate everything. So transition, we say all, uh, let's say uh, two seconds, or we can specify 200 milliseconds. Yeah, 200 milliseconds. And let's give it an ease type of transition. Perfect. Display, this should be a display inline block if we want this to work. 
Now let's give it a position relative because we're gonna have a bunch of absolute stuff around. Now let's include to this label uh, the mixing user select that we defined before and the user select we want to give it none because by default this is not selectable by the user but we're gonna use this later in order to avoid that this thing every time the user clicks on it it will create something weird with the HTML, the checkbox, it creates that like box shadow, stuff like that, selects that checkbox and it, this mixing is useful to avoid some issue compatibility with different browsers, but let's not worry about that, let's continue, let's create a background, dollar off, and then a box shadow by default has to be an inset as well, but everything is at zero, so zero, 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 zero. The color is the same, so it's on, we don't wanna change the color. Perfect, inside the label, if you remember, we define a div. So the div has to be as well a transition all, and then the background by default of this div should be white or you can specify FFF if you want, if you feel more comfortable, one, two, three, one, two, three, perfect. Then the width should be identical to the value that we're passing, so the height, and also the height should be identical to the value because we wanna create a circle inside the checkbox. That's why we created the div inside the label. The div will be the circle inside the UI toggle. So let's continue by saying that the border radius, we can, we could quickly say 50%, but sometimes it doesn't really work properly, so it's better to have a real value, and because we know the value of the height and the width, we can say, let's divide it by two. So if we gave it 40 pixels, the border radius will be 20 pixels and we'd be a perfect circle. That's awesome. Inside the label, but outside the div, we need to specify what happens when we go on rollover. And basically, the only thing that happens here, if we say ampersand and column over, and also this very own element, if we tap and we go on rollover, not on the element, but accidentally only on the div inside this element, the cursor should change to a pointer. So the user will know that this is clickable. Now, the last thing that we have to do inside the mixing, but outside everything else, so again, we need to define, once again, the input checkbox. Let's go scroll back up here. If the input checkbox is checked and has the label, but inside the label we have this div, the div should have a margin left of minus four pixels. And then as final styling for the label, let's say the, the label has a border of two pixels, solid, with the same off color that we defined before, then wanna give the border radius to be equal to the height, but plus two, because we're adding the two pixels border, so we need to manage also that thing, and then we can duplicate height and width the same way we're doing here for the div, but for the label that wraps everything. Let's save it. Let's be sure that our code, it's still running a gulp watch for all of this and automatically every time we save our code, our gulp file will compile all our assets and spit out the uh, mystyle.css, everything properly compiled. Let's go back in our administration area, let's refresh. And we have a bunch of issues here, so let's fix them together. So first, if you notice here, we have uh, the UI toggle class, it's getting applied twice to the TR, the row of the table, and then to the div. We wanna just handle the UI toggle to the div here, and then to the TR, we should apply the mixing center that we specified before. So actually is the TD, but let's take care of this. So first let's edit this to div UI toggle. So the UI toggle will affect only when is the div and not the table row. Perfect, perfect. But the label is still not appearing because this is label. Oh, uh, that's a mistake. This is lab label, not label. Sorry, that's a typo, label. There you go. Now it's appearing something here. So let's fix. Every time I wrote it wrong here, label, 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 but in the callback manager we have, uh, boom, 
label okay that's awesome let's refresh okay we have all these things and something is not working because the div margin left uh, height minus four pixel let's say oh interesting so this is check okay but the label is too short the label should be kind of bigger Yes, the label should be way bigger. So let's go back here. The label that we define here, the width and height, the actual height should be plus two pixels because we need to still take care of the border, but the width, actually wrong, the width should be, the height should be plus two pixels and the width should be multiplied by two. So it should be the double. Let's refresh. Perfect, actually not too perfect, but let's, make it better so this is height and they should be height minus four with the space not four pixels sorry a lot of stupid mistakes okay now it's way better but we have a small issue here so let's fix this stuff this is too big and actually we're gonna remove this stuff because we have the border so we shouldn't add this to height plus two pixels do we need this? Actually, border radius had to. Let's refresh. Let's see. Okay, way better. Nice. But here, of course, we have this thing that it's uh, center aligned. So let's put it back to the left. Let's remove the UI toggle to be center aligned. Perfect. And then because we generated a mix in, we can uh, create something super cool. So if this is too big, so let's put it 20 pixel. Let's refresh. Boom, and now we have our toggles. And of course, because we're using the power of SCSS, if we don't like this color and we want something like slightly better, we want to just like, for example, I simulate the color of WordPress here. We can inspect the element and see what color is this. Let's copy this hash value and let's put it here to the on. Boom. Perfect, let's refresh. And now we have the same WordPress color. That's fantastic. And of course, because everything is pure CSS and it's pure HTML, if we have something unchecked, we'll remain unchecked. If we have something checked, we'll remain checked. That's perfect actually to have it unchecked off. Change it visually a little bit to make it more appealing because it looks pretty awful here. Uh, let's use this color maybe. Yes, let's use this. What is this? HC, HC. We're gonna have the off HC, HC, and then uh, refresh and see how it looks. Okay, it looks way better. It's the background. Oh, is the box shadow okay? Yes, this make it more highlighted. Yes, I like it. It's this one. And of course, e, you, you notice that all our CSS here, we are dealing with the border color background, inbox shadows and blah, blah, blah. But because we are dealing everything with variables, as soon as we change one variable and we save, we refresh, automatically all our code will change dynamically and all our settings are saved. That's perfect. That's why I spent some time in doing the gulp file thing because we regular CSS, this would have been a nightmare, really complicated to manage, but with the gulp file automatically, every time we save something in our SCSS, it generates the compiled and ready minified file of our CSS for our browser to read. And we don't have to do anything other than having our terminal running background with the gulp watch command. And that's pretty cool. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. And if you want, you can spend a couple of minutes on the support me page of my website where you can find all different ways and methods to support me, support my channel and help me to do better videos and better tutorials for you. Thank you again, guys, and until the next lesson, as usual, happy coding.